Welcome to section 2.2, Measurement of Rotation. In this section, we're going to be looking at three main topics. What is the standard position of an angle? What is a coterminal angle? And what is a reference angle? And then we'll look at an example of how to determine the reference angle for an angle of more than 360 degrees. Let's start with standard position. An angle is in standard position in a Cartesian coordinate system if its vertex is at the origin. So we're going to start at the origin. And its initial side is along the positive horizontal axis. So that's very important. Side 1 is along the initial horizontal axis. And it's measured counterclockwise from the horizontal axis if the angle measure is positive. So if I put the terminal side out here in the second quadrant, we'll have a positive angle if we start from the initial side and end up in that second quadrant. Theta will be greater than zero. If I measure clockwise from the horizontal axis, the angle measure would be negative. So if I started again from the positive horizontal axis and measured clockwise, theta would be less than zero. Now let's talk about coterminal angles. Two angles in standard position are coterminal if and only if their degree measure differ by a multiple of 360 degrees. That is, phi and theta are coterminal if and only if phi equals theta plus n 360 degrees, where n stands for an integer. Okay, what does that mean? That means if we start, start in that second quadrant, my initial angle, theta, would have a coterminal angle that would be the original angle plus 360 degrees or plus another 360 degrees. Reference angles are very important. We're going to be using them a lot. So the reference angle of an angle in standard position is the positive acute angle between the horizontal axis and the terminal side. So what that means is that every reference angle comes off the horizontal axis. For an angle in the first quadrant, we want the acute angle off the horizontal axis. So if this is my original angle, my reference angle is the same angle. For an angle in the second quadrant, so this is my original angle, the reference angle is the acute positive angle between the horizontal axis and the terminal side. So the acute angle here is right here. There is my reference angle for the second quadrant if my terminal side lies in the third quadrant. Theta would look like this. And the reference angle, again, is between the horizontal axis and the terminal side. The positive acute angle. In the fourth quadrant, My angle would be here, and my reference angle, again, the acute positive angle connected to the horizontal axis. Note that our reference angle is always positive. 